So Pascal, why do you bring students to Africa? Mostly because evolution takes place in the field. So you can read about it, you can run experiments in your labs. But in the end, life happens outside buildings, outside cities. So Tanzania is this amazing opportunity to see the kind of three main aspects of fieldwork relating to human origins research. One is fossils, with the famous Olgupai Gorge. The other one is ethnography, with some of the few remaining hunter-gatherers that completely live off, live off the land, but are increasingly surrounded by pastoralists, the mm -hmm. hotel we visited. And the third is all these species of non-human primates we've seen over the last few days. So the baboons that are easy to find, they live near cities, the different monkeys, red-tailed, blue monkeys, the galagos, you have to go shine your light at night <laughs> for simian. And then the chimps that we saw so well in Gombe, and we appreciate how how difficult is it, it is to actually get close to wild chimpanzees here. We've lost them, the team was hoping to have them ready for us, but they lost them. So the hope is that each year a small group of students interested in human origins get the opportunity to live in these landscapes, interact with the people, interact with the other primate species, and hopefully get to appreciate how little we know, even though people have done this type of research for more than a hundred years.